there, everyone. My name is Eminem Nom, and, uh, I, I didn't really have anything planned for today. I'm sorry. Uh, I just, uh, got a, kind of caught up with, uh, stuff for school and job, job finding stuff and all that other wonderful things that have to do with life. So, uh, yeah. And, um, I also wanted to apologize for the confusion, um, on Sunday because I did not post a video on Sunday uh, because I thought that I had uploaded the first kite video but I didn't and so I started uploading the second kite video and I was like wait where's the first kite video what in the world so then I realized it was on my computer here instead of at home because I went home for Thanksgiving break so then when I got back, I was like, well, crud, now it's going to take forever to upload and it's not going to be uploaded until tomorrow, which was Monday. So I just waited until Monday to finally get that posted. So sorry about that. I'll try to be more clear about that in the future. Um, but yeah. Um, but also, I want to talk about motivation. Da -da -da -da. So motivation. What a... What a hard thing to find some of these, some days, you know? Some days, you just get up, you don't want to do shit. You just sit up on your bed. Actually, you don't even sit up. You just lay there, and you're like, well, today's not going to be the day. And you roll over and just go back to sleep. But, but, here's the thing. Really? Ugh. You're, you're getting advice from someone whose hair is falling out. <laughs> but here's the thing. If you're not motivated to do something, then it's probably because you haven't found the right thing yet. Now, that could be, I could be wrong, because maybe you have found the right thing that you're interested in, or that you're passionate about in that job, or whatever, you're passionate about it, but sometimes, because I know for me, some days, it's just hard for me to get out of bed and do things that, you know, that I want to do because it takes either it takes too much effort or it's just, it just takes forever to get set up or whatever. The, the excuse, the excuse is because that's the problem. Excuses are like the biggest, they're probably the biggest barrier that you could put up because yeah, life will throw a bunch of punches, and kicks and ball sucker, ball kicks in your face. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But basically what I'm trying to say is life will throw so many things at you. Uh, hundreds of obstacles. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But the biggest thing that can get in your way is you. And I, I wanted to talk, and I wanted to say stuff about this because I've kind of been dealing with some motivational issues lately, um, mainly be just because of, you know, having to change majors and having to, you know, uh, switch from something that I really enjoy doing to, well, now I have no idea what I want to do. So, you know, talking about this and uh, spewing, just spewing nonsense out this is very therapeutic for me and this is helping me to, to understand, you know, hey, you're just setting up, you just, okay, so something didn't work out. Okay, so then uh, there are there are tons of other talents that you, that you or me or, or anybody has. I'm sure there are. So uh, you gotta just, you gotta find something that really drives you as a human being and really you know is the re is one of the reasons that like maybe for some people that you're still here you know i i totally understand that because it, i come from a place like that you know i i come from somewhere where i just for the longest time in my life I just was never interested in anything. You know, I was kind of, you know, for a while, basketball was pretty fun. And I was, I, I liked that for a while. And I thought, hey, you know, I'm going to be in the WNBA and it's going to be great. And then that kind of didn't work out because I, I uh, mostly that's kind of my fault because I didn't, I don't think I practiced enough. So, I mean, you know, I think 
the only thing that can stand in the way of your dreams and your goals is the person in the mirror whoever you're looking at and i know i don't mean the weird person behind you <laughs> i hope there's no weird people behind you <laughs> I, hope they, I don't know what i'm talking about but basically what i'm trying to say is it's you you're the only thing that stands in the way of your success because you know negative thoughts or ne like you, you know i'm not good enough I'm not, you know, smart enough. I'm not good looking enough. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just, I don't have the qualifications for this. I don't blah, 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 blah. That's what it sounds like. And for, I used to do that a lot. I used to always be like, oh, you know, I'm just not smart enough, or I'm just not pretty enough, or I'm just... And it's like, just st stop. Like, uh, I, I heard this quote from a person a while ago, and I don't know who said it, so this isn't from me, but the guy said, most of us would never go up to somebody and say those things. Like, and most of us would never go up to a stranger and say those kinds of things to their faces. But we have no problem saying those things to ourselves. Because... And, I, and that's such a weird thing to think about because it's like, it's true. <laughs> We're so quick to be like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm not good enough, basically. It's just I'm not cool enough. I'm not, you know, not going to say the same things again. Smart, pretty, good looking, you know, amazing enough, you know, whatever. You know, but if we start saying things to ourselves and to each other, like, you know, I am smart, I am amazing, I am good looking, I am happy, I, you know, training our thought process in a different way would be so much more beneficial to not only me and you, but it would make our, it would make our entire lives better. So I am going to start every day with, uh, I am happy, I am kind, actually I have little sticky notes over there. What do they say? I am attractive. I am talented. I am strong. I am full of energy. I, what does that say? <laughs> I have a great personality. I am funny. I am, what does that say? <laughs> okay. I am smart. I am happy. I am uh, a good person and I am awesome. Those are the, those are the things I have written up over there and they're right next to my mirror. So I'm going to see them every morning and I encourage you guys to do the same thing because if we reroute our thinking process we just do a whole 360 just whoop or no 180 sorry that's a 180 <laughs> oh boy <laughs> and whoop just like that then our i feel like our lives would be totally different and i think we would be able to be closer to achieving our goals whoever you are and whoever what, whatever your dreams are and whatever your goals are I feel like that's totally accomplishable and I feel like that's totally if if when we change our habits our thinking habits and our our day-to-day -day habits our, our lives will change drastically you know my my dad used to always say our lives change when our habits change and it's it's true. It's, you know, he's, he's a little bit more on the religious side, of course, but I think it's totally true. It's, it's, it's very true. You know, and instead of pushing that snooze button and actually getting up in the morning, that's, that's training a new habit, you know, and habits take a very long time to develop and it's not going to be easy, obviously, but with repetition and with practice, it will start becoming easier and easier and easier until eventually it's just second nature. So I'm going to start doing that. And uh, if you guys don't do start doing this or don't start doing this, whatever, I don't care. But I mean, I do care. I want you guys to be happier and stuff like that. But like, if you don't do it and you have a different idea or you just are like, eh, Emily, I'm not going to do that. I'm already perfect. Then... <laughs> 
all right, yeah, hey, you know, good for you. <laughs> you're already, you're already there. You're already doing a great job. You're already, you're already successful. So, but anyways, <laughs> that's my little spiel. That's all I wanted to say. I feel like that made me feel a little better. Um, and I hope this made you guys feel a little bit better too. Maybe I'll start doing more, more, uh, just me talking. Um, I'll try, maybe I'll try to think of a different topic maybe for next month or something. I, I don't know. I don't know how often I'll do these, but hopefully I hope you guys enjoyed this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys very, very much. And hopefully I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.